lots of new vehicles, new cars, um, and we can see some of the celebrations in the world of Horizon Mexico. And we're gonna do so by having a look in one of the new cars available this series, the Ford SVT Lightning. Now, when you say Lightning, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting something a bit like sleeker looking, a bit like, <laughs> um, so <laughs> tell us more. That is the best description I've ever heard of a car. <laughs> this is a very fast track. This yeah. is a very, very, in fact, when it came out, it was the world's fastest truck. Wow. Um, yeah, it could do 147 miles an hour, which is insanely fast. Looks deceiving. I'm judging yeah. a, a truck by its cover. <laughs> I mean, that's for, for a truck that is very fast, especially when it came out in kind of early 2000s. It's yeah. had a 5.4 litre supercharged V8. I uh, think it's 380 horsepower, which is you know, quite a lot for back then. Um, and just, yeah, an absolutely incredible. I, I really like the look of this thing. I, this and the Mustang from this area, I really like. Um, but this is also famous for being in a fairly well-known film. Oh. Uh, it was in Fast and Furious 1. Uh, it has a, a, a really nice moment where they stack it full of car bits and drive it to go and uh, soup up a Supra. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so I think the community is really, uh, really kind of wanting for, for this one. Uh, and yeah, uh, so this is one of the car pass cars for this series. Cool. I love the little step on the side there. That really, it's like it's inviting you to kind of hang on to the side yes. while someone else is driving, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I love the idea of just like two friends either side. You're Ooh. all on a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ask a question. You're going to hate me to ask. What's SVT stand for? SVT Lightning. Special vehicle. Oh my god. Chat. Uh, Chat. <laughs> technology. Technology asset. Hey. Technology. My mind went totally blank there. <laughs> At the end of this, is going to hate me, curse me. <laughs> there are any scarballs at me, woman. Um, yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know. For some reason in my mind, I can't combine like truck and fast, fast truck. It just doesn't marry in my head. It shows how much experience I've had with trucks, really, doesn't it? Because there's some really fast trucks out there. Yeah, there's some very, very, very fast trucks now. Yeah, this, this truck actually kind of spawned that. So it, it was built to go up against uh, some, some of the GMC cars, the Typhoon and the... Cyclone. Cyclone. Oh, uh, yeah, they are brilliant names. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so Ford followed up with a Lightning, which is mm. equally cool and weather themed. What do you reckon you could fit in the back of that thing? A barbecue. Quite a lot. Quite a lot of super parts, I reckon. Yeah. yeah, lots of super parts. Excellent. Um, well, shall we have a look? We don't want to dive too much into Cinco de Mayo, which we are, we're, we're absorbing. You know, we're absorbing the beautiful, yeah, the the beautiful theming around the yeah. Hato, yes. You might have seen some of the, uh, what's it like, the, what are they called? Bunting. But, yes, bunting. Uh, different parts of the celebration happening. But we're going to wait a little bit because we're going to talk about that, uh, her, you know, how we're celebrating at Horizon Style a little bit later in the show. Um, so, for now, why don't we look at uh, another New car, why not? Um, this series, we have the Nissan Safari 370Z. Um, so, first of all, point of contention. Is it Z or Z? <laughs> I say Z. I love that everyone looks straight to you immediately. I think like, it's Z. <laughs> I think it's Z. I think, I think that's how people would normally say it. And didn't you say earlier that in the US it's usually, they would refer to it as Fair Lady? Uh, yes, so it is a Fair Lady. So I think we can claim it as British English and go Z. Oh. Um, I like that logic. <laughs> I'm having it. So. <coughs> okay. All right. So we're we'll saying Z. I think I'm so. Z. Uh, Z. Z. But born out of the fact that yeah, the, the, the this model on which the car is spec'd out from is termed Fair Lady in, in North America, but it's usually 350 or 370 Z for for Europe. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, and this one in particular, um, this is a tribute to the 1970. Well, I've got to try and get this right. 1971, uh, East Africa, I think it was East Africa, the 19th running of the uh, East African Safari winner, uh, which looked like this. Sorry, I totally butchered it's all of that. It's a mouthful. It's a lot to remember. <laughs> yes. it looked like you, that sounded like you were reading a really distant auto <laughs> <laughs> Um But yeah, so uh, quite an iconic car in 1971. It won uh, a safari rally. Safaris, um, they're not really a thing anymore. They used to be these really like grueling endurance races. Um, to win one was quite a challenge. Uh, and yep, so Nissan did that with the Fair Lady back then. Um, and it looked a bit like this, but it was the, the old style Fair Lady. And Chris Forsberg decided to make his own tribute to it. Uh, this car is built to American rally regulations. So if he wanted to, he could race it. 
Um, so it's got incredible suspension on it, uh, got all the safety stuff you'd expect for it. Um, and the engine's fairly stock because for rallying you don't really want huge horsepower. Um, so it's in around, I think, 200, 300 horsepower mark. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, about 300. What's the question? What's the difference between like American rally regulations and like UK? Is there UK rally regulations? Uh, it's subtle differences. So it's the it's just dependent on the governing body. So okay. uh, the World World Rally Series is run by the FIA, um, and the American ha Americans have their own series. I think it's just got their own. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, it's it's subtle differences, <clears throat> but for the most part, same kind of regulations. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, we've got any more interesting facts about this thing then? So. Uh, any celebrities in our? <laughs> no, no, no. Just Chris Forsberg. Yeah, it's just his. I mean, this is like his his dream car that he built. What's that stuck on the right hand side near the window? Yeah. That's... That would be a spotlight. Oh, there we go. So yeah, yeah, you have obviously the spotlights out front, but then the passenger side. There's normally a, like a little thing the pa the passenger could uh, grab onto to move it around. From the back, we were just getting a view of it. Like that. I wonder if it's like a mounted camera or something. Like, <laughs> like you know, Chris Forsberg's actually mounted a camera for some of his videos and then we've just modelled that in. We do do that quite, <laughs> yeah. quite a lot. There's quite a few cars that have GoPro mounts modelled on them because at the time of sourcing there was a GoPro mount on it, so we did that. Uh, huh. This one also sounds really nice. There you go. This sounds pretty neat, yeah. Take a look at that. Um, all right, well, so let's have a little talk about Horizon then. So for those of you who might not be Race familiar with the Horizon Tour, it for the road. Right. The road version would be called the Stradale ah. because it is the road Thank version of it. I was thinking like, so in English it would be like the Jaguar Road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's a nice looking car though, it's very sleek. Very yeah. I love the different, are those vents at the back I assume next to the rear window? Is like uh, the, yes they yeah. are, yes. Yeah, the uh, different vent designs of different cars, I don't know, it's just I always love that. <laughs> details. It's always one of those where you look at it and go, is it style or is it performance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a Ferrari, it's both. <laughs> That's a good answer there. I'll take that. There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, go on. I was going to say, so yeah, as I was saying, this one's a real technological marvel. So mm -hmm. uh, the LaFerrari, they, they started to move towards hybrid. This is really embracing hybrid. So it's, a, it's actually a plug-in hybrid. Oh. Uh, hence, you've got the two... Uh, Two fuel fillers, which we were confused about earlier. One of them is for charging it, and the other one is for filling it with uh, petrol. Ah. Um, so the combination of the engine, uh, which is the which is a slightly better version of the one found in the F8 Tributo, uh, went out to four liters uh, twin turbo V8. That's making 780 horsepower, and then the three electric motors take up to nearly 1,000 horsepower, uh, and that makes it the fastest accelerating Ferrari ever, wow. and potentially fastest ever production car as it has, so Ferrari's uh, claimed 2.5 seconds to 60, uh, but people have tested it and it's doing it in two. That's mad, that's significant. That's very fast. Like, you think they'd the, uh, be like, yeah, go on then, it's two seconds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, that's it, crazy. it is kind of unusual. It is unusual, yeah. normally Ferrari are, are bang on with their numbers, but yeah. Huh. Um, I think that was tested on a drag strip, so a bit better traction. Hmm. But, Downhill, yeah. wind behind. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> All right, well, let's take a look at um, another new car because we've got mountains of them. Uh, this time, can you guess, it's another Ferrari. Another well, Ferrari? The Ferrari F8 Tributo. I don't know why I added a bit of it. Uh, tributo. tributo. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Italian word is F8 Tributo. But <sighs> I'm gonna, never going to get it right. That's fine, that's fine, that's good. Tributo. Tributo. It's, it's always so satisfying, it's like, even if you do it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a really musical. Um, oh yeah, so talk us through the Tributo then. So this is replacing the 488, so it's the kind of core or staple uh, car in Ferrari's lineup. So this is their mid-engined uh, V8 supercar. Uh, as I mentioned, it runs the same engine that the uh, SF90 has. It's the F154, which is a phenomenal engine. It's won 14 International Engine of the Year awards for people that go to those. Um, actually, it is, it is really. Uh, I bet really, they would back really, up after as well, yeah. wouldn't they? Like, yeah. the best British game. Who cares? We've got 14 <laughs> International Engine of the Year awards. Uh, but no, it is an incredible engine. So, uh, in the F8 Tributo, it's, uh, it's actually the same engine that was in the Ferrari 488 Pista, which is the track car. And we're running, I think, it's 710 horsepower, which is an absolutely monumental number yeah. for an everyday, 
every day every supercar. Day. Every day yeah. car. Yeah. <laughs> you could you could daily this easily, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Ferrari make a bike rack for this. You just shove it on and go mountain biking. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about earlier, the, the custom they, suitcases. They, they might. <laughs> if you ask nice enough and pay them enough, I'm sure they will make it a bike rack. Yeah, they, they, have, they often have like snowboard racks and stuff. Yeah. They? So, yeah. Uh, okay, alright. I'd like I'm to not, see I'm not, I haven't rack. confirmed it, but they do have a surprising selection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, have you got oh, insurance? Ruined. <laughs> <laughs> just, because, you know, the car it costs quite a lot. Of, I mean, <laughs> so, yeah. That's a lot. I mean, we're talking about this on Forza Monthly as well. This is one of the cars that has like a. You've got that driver info on the passenger side yep. as well. So, as a passenger, you can be like. Should have slipped in the fifth gear there. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Might be the last time another passenger. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, we spoke about that a little bit on Forza Monthly, and it's yep. uh, we got oh. a, a, a more content though um, because we now need to move on to talk about the bug fixes. Everyone's oh, favorite. I think it's, it's been like a um, minute and a half, so we need to look at a new car. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm coming out in hives. Um, so this time we got the Tacoma TRD Pro. Look at that Pro. Already got it. Ready to go, so nice work. <laughs> um, very, very blocky car, uh, truck. So I shouldn't call it a car, I'll get eviscerated. Um, but yeah, <laughs> talk to us about the Tacoma TRD Pro. Yep, uh, as you say, it is a truck. It's a Toyota's mid sized truck. So back in Series 5, we had the Tundra and the Forerunner, uh, both TRD. Uh, the Tundra is their, their large pickup truck, uh, Tacoma is their me medium sized one. And TRD meaning Toyota, Toyota Racing Developments. Oh, we anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And there's a three-letter acronym I know I get asked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so this, uh, in the same vein as the other two, is kind of a performance off-road version of the truck. So earlier on the SVT Lightning, that was very much built as a performance on-road truck. This is kind of going the other way. It's still fast, but it's built to be incredible off-road. Mm -hmm. It comes standard with Fox internal bypass shocks, which uh, are amazing things. Uh, please trust me. Uh, internal bypass is like things I dream about. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really want some for my Land Rover. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Internal, internal bypass. Internal bypass. Yeah. It oh. means like laying bed at night just dreaming of suspension. <laughs> I, I legit do. Uh, <laughs> it's, a five, it's a five seat as well. Yep. It is. Isn't yes. It? Racing division with space between the kids and the dog. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, actually perfect for kind of going away camping, stick a roof tent on it. Yeah. Uh, fantastic car for that. Uh, unlike the Tundra, this is a V6. I think it's 370 horsepower? I'm sure I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's too many cars this series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this <is true>. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pl plenty enough to make it move quite quite quickly, and especially off-road where you don't have much traction. It's uh, absolutely perfect. Yeah. I don't, okay, bear with me here, but there's something really comforting about the aesthetic of this truck. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's blocky, but there's rounded edges. It feels like secure and safe. I don't know. That's giving me vibes. <laughs> Yeah, I really uh, like that, that, I'm sure that is well. uh, that is music to the Toyota designers ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so comforted by it. I feel so safe. That's like we want speed and <laughs> aggression. Um, yeah, yeah, very nice. I think you could fit you could fit a whole family's worth of shopping in the bag though as well. So oh, practical. Easily, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of oranges. Have this alongside your Ferrari, so you can actually. Go yeah, to the shops. this would be the one that's trailing the Ferrari with your golf clubs in the back <laughs> and your golf cart and <laughs> your golf. You workers. Probably, <laughs> probably could get a golf cart in the back of that. Yeah, I think yeah, you right. could. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I should probably say That'd this is the, one of the car pass cars for this series. Oh, right, yeah. Just people know how to get it. Cool. I mean, how much would this set you back in real life if you're going to purchase one of these? I actually don't know that. So it's TRD, isn't it? So yeah. it would be a. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to buy this specific model from mm -hmm. uh, from Toyota. I'm not sure what the Tacoma would be about. 45? You can buy these from Toyota. They you are. Can. They, you can They're, get them from oh, Toyota sorry, dealership. Sorry, yeah. I think yeah, probably 40, 45, 50 thousand dollars. Um, awful. Is I it, guess. Really? Yeah. So out of touch. It's not terrible. <laughs> um, You've got to be um, careful. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time again for another new car. Yeah, let's do it. Um, of course, we're not finished because we've got to look at the Dodge Magnum SRT8, and here it is. Chris, that's a wagon. It is a wagon. <laughs> An American wagon. An American wagon. <laughs> What's going on? So. so this is a rare thing. Americans, wagons aren't so much of a thing over there. Mm. Um, and this car has become a bit of a cult classic now because it was around about the... Oh, the really really <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, let the pop off from Nando? Yeah. Pass <laughs> <laughs> uh, lost my train of thought now. Uh, yeah, so uh, early noughties, there was a resurgence in the muscle car. Uh, so things like the Camaro properly came back, uh, Dodge Charger, etc. This was kind of one of them. So this is Dodge Magnum SRT8. 
um, street racing technology. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Because you'd ask anyway. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this, uh, they, they took their Magnum, which was their kind of wagon, a uh, very practical family car, and dumped a 6.1 litre Hemi V8 in it, 425 horsepower, making it a proper muscle car. Um, with all the practicalities of uh, what we know as in Europe, an estate car, uh, or a wagon for, for Americans. And yeah, absolutely amazing car. It's a bit overpowered, as, as you'd want from your muscle car. <laughs> yeah, 45 is pretty, pretty high for, pretty, the, for, yeah. the, for the year, isn't it? But I guess yeah. Dodge. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, the Charger uh, went on to eventually with the Hellcat 707. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing is, this was incredibly rare. So they only made them in 2006 and 2008, not 2007, for, for reasons. <laughs> uh, in fact, it was more, uh, they facelifted them in 2008 to, to this look, which is more in line with the Charger of the time. Um, but they only made, I'm just going to check notes here, 239 of these, which is makes it one of the rarest cars we have in the game. Mm. Wow. Dang. I mean, it, like you say, it's interesting that they just didn't take off in America, like the style. Because I think, at least when I was growing up, they were everywhere in the UK. Yes. <laughs> State cars were like huge and not so much now. There's like, a lot yeah, more it's, hatchbacks. But, yeah. They are very, very popular mm. in, in the UK, across Europe, and all of the UK manufacturers regularly produce what we would term estate versions of yeah. their cars. Um, I guess, yeah, Americans just have trucks, they right? Have trucks, yeah. They have <laughs> yeah. trucks and SUVs. I mean, SUVs have kind of taken that marketplace, uh, but as you say, in Britain, I mean, if you go back to the 90s, even in touring cars, British touring cars, there was the Volvo estate touring car, oh, absolute cool. icon of a car. <laughs> um, yeah, very, I very much love wagons. Feels like it's very all or nothing with American cars. Like you're either in a little, <laughs> a little tiny sort of, Thing or you're in a massive SUV. I feel like we've got a bit more that medium <laughs> in Europe, haven't we? Not so many SUVs, though. It feels like the trends are turning. There's it's a lot more SUVs coming yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, any more interesting facts about this car then, the Dodge Magnum SRT? Uh, I can't think of any right now, nor do I know any celebrity owners. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't imagine why. <laughs> um, it, I mean, yeah, I mean, there won't. Like you, you touched on it being a rare car, it, it'll be super rare because people wouldn't have realised it was rare at the time. Yep. Mm. When you walked into a Dodge dealer and ordered this, you'd be like, oh, it's, I want the muscle car, I want to be able to take the dog in the back. Or something <laughs> <Yeah. else."> <laughs> <laughs> Similar. You wouldn't have been thinking, they're only going to make a few of these, I'm going to get this, I'm going to keep it pristine, I'm going to sell it to the Peterson Museum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so that there'll probably be even, like, probably hardly any of that number still, yeah, still trucking about and still in any kind of good condition yeah. just because no one would have expected it to ever be that rare. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, while we're cruising around in the Dodge, we just, there's no choice, yes, we have to. No we've got to go. Um, so, two, let's talk about two new cars. Uh, we have the 250 GT Lusso or the California T Convertible, which. What's it What's it pick? I didn't see what he picked. I went for the 250. Okay, Aye. good choice. So, All right. I've been watching Chris drive really well and talk at the same time, but I'm going to try and drive while Chris talks about it, but I, it won't be as flashy, so it's just, I'm, I'm just going to <laughs> advance like, warning. Like Chris driving one-handed and just like yeah, gesturing with his so hand. casually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like, that's always my absolute recipe for disaster on these shows, yeah. where I'm talking and I start to gesture and go, oh god, I need that, I need that, I'm using that. That's almost like my day-to-day -day is just permanently having a controller in my hand. Uh, yeah, so 250 GT Lusso. Um, Actually, so I, I personally think this is one of the prettiest Ferraris ever made. Turns out, I'm not alone. This is considered one of the prettiest Ferraris ever made. Ah. Um, it came in, so, uh, I think this was early 60s, 62. Um, 250, uh, that denotes the cylinder capacity of the engine. So each cylinder is 250 cc's. Uh, it's a V12, three litre, do, do the maths. Um, it's a really classic V12 in this as well that ran through, uh, all, obviously, all the 250s. Uh, I think it ran for about 20 years or so, this engine was in some form or another. Uh, and yeah, when it's paired with this, this incredible coach work, it's, yeah, I, I have a real soft spot for this car. I think the design's got a little bit of like Americana in it. Mm. Um, and also a couple of celebrity owners on this one. Uh, Steve McQueen owned one. Very cool. Um, I'm trying to remember who the other one was because I said two. I can't remember. Let's move on. So Steve McQueen, Francis. there we go. Yeah. So Steve McQueen, yeah. <laughs> he owns two of them. <laughs> that's it. Um, I mean, to be fair, when I think of like classic Ferrari, in my limited knowledge, that's exactly the kind of shape you think of, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's, it's rounded headlights. I mean, gorgeous. That shape in the back. Yeah. 
very, very pretty. Cool. Um, all right, let's take a look at the California T, the convertible. We did take a look at this on the previous stream as well, um, and for good reason, because it is uh, it's a specimen. <laughs> if that's like a sort of classic Ferrari, yes. like um, Hallmark. We should say the Lusso is 20 points in summer. I yeah. Think. Yep. yeah. We'll get on to that. Oh, yeah. You've you stolen my thunder. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's my bit. So now we get to see this in daylight because on on monthly it was uh, we're obviously at night. Yes. Um, so here we can see it. As I mentioned on monthly, the rear kind of trunk line on it. I really like it the way the the three quarter panel sweeps up and the trunk line kind of comes back down and joins into it. It's a really beautiful car. This. Yeah, it's a really interesting way to do it as well. It just comes up and like collects another piece and goes back down again. Yeah. Put the roof up, Dave. Put the roof yeah. up. <laughs> and you can Let's see it, Dave. Roof up. Right. So. It's got a much more modern sleekness to it. There you go. In real time in as real well. Time. In real time. Yeah, I love this one. Just the way it stacks is is very. Uh, Please do not try this at home. Do not stop in the middle of the road. It's very, like, very, <laughs> pleasing, very pleasing engineering. Isn't yeah, it? it really oh, is. Look at that. Could you imagine if you were driving along and there was a Ferrari and it was doing that in the middle of the road? <laughs> <laughs> like you've got to wait. I'd just stop and look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's an absolute power play. I think I would do that. Like, you all have to stop and watch. So You'll yeah. wait for me, I've got a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, she didn't know. Two drops of rain in the air, I must stop everybody so I can put my roof on. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> it's got a real nice sound to it as well. It's like really. Yeah. yeah. So this is the, the first time the F154 engine, the twin turbo V8, came in. Uh, a stat from earlier, uh, first turbocharged Ferrari since the F40. Mm. Hope, really hoping I'm right on that one. I'm still shocked by it, but yeah, um, great, yeah. great, great stat all the same. Yeah. Even if you made it up, it's still cool. You know, I'll, 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 I, I won't check, so I'll stay impressed by it. Right, for the next show, let's do two truths and a lie. You give us two, <laughs> two truths and a lie. I'm just going to start interweaving loads of false facts into these <laughs> yeah. things. That's the best way to farm engagement. Let everyone else be like, actually, that's wrong. That's not right. Um, incorrect. Uh, all right, well, let's take a look at the festival playlist because we've waited long enough, haven't we? Have we uh, shown you one last car, yay! It has been a bumper show uh, for new cars today, but we've saved a pretty great one for the end. So, Chris, you're going to tell us all about the 512 Testarossa. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yes. A seal of approval. Yes. Um, yeah, look at that. Now, that is a work of art. <laughs> yeah, so we, we showed this on the, the monthly. Um, as I mentioned, I had this on a poster along with things like an F40, F50, Contash. It's that kind of caliber of car from late 80s, early 90s. And I think there's few cars, when you look at it, show that time period in design as much as this thing. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely so cool. incredible looking car. Sounds amazing it as well. It really does sound amazing, yeah. So, as I also mentioned earlier, not a V12 in this. It's a flat 12, which is a little bit different, but allowed it to get that really low, low body line. I do actually know some celebrity owners on this one. <gasps> Go on. Elton John had one. Oh. That's good. That's, my, a, my that's favorite, a good celebrity. That's a really good celebrity. Yeah. I think... Well, <laughs> people will know who that, people will know who that yeah. is. <laughs> uh, uh, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson, oh, and my wow. favorite one. What? Favorite one, MC Hammer. Hey. You have to get this car. <laughs> so, this I mean, is the coolest car how now. How rare are these? Um, not, not as rare as other Ferraris. Oh. They did make quite a lot of them. They were quite a popular car. But as with all Ferraris, Still quite rare. Right. So, as chance is good, Mike, you can touch this. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. great. I figured out how I could work that in. Yeah. Um, um, so the lines are just so like visionary, though. Like The way that the entire bodywork is designed there. So, it looks like it's just designed for some like real moody, sultry nighttime drive under like city neon lights. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely yeah. would have been, been under neon on that poster, right? Oh, yeah. Is, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, like, I, I, I think of this, I mean, partly because of Miami Vice, but mm -hmm. I just think of Miami with this car. Yeah. Like, it just, yeah. it would fit so, in white. Ha, and you're wearing a Forza yeah. Street t-shirt, which is set in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Lovely. I all I think about when I see these, though, is how much of the paint that must be to clean. Like, in between oh, yeah. all of those little... <laughs> little, little tiny teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're cleaning away. I've seen these car detailing videos lately, and the... The, t the pressure, <laughs> the, the stuff they go through to get into all those little nooks and crannies, that would be, and you'd so clean that cool. off, and, you know, you wouldn't oh, yeah. want that to get filled yeah. through. <laughs> it, it, it's funny you mentioned the neon as well, because you've obviously got those shipping containers in the yes. vent lab, so shout out to all the creators out there. Yeah, this is like the good. perfect photo opportunity to have this car and the neon lights oh. anywhere you want. Yeah, get it done. Uh, I look forward to seeing those next quarter monthly. Um, so, 
Oh, we're going to have to wrap it up here, but before we go, is there anything you can tell us about Series A? I think we might have a little picture we could bring up for us to Yeah, yeah, do you want to go to the coming yeah. soon? Um, so, Giuseppe touched on it earlier from the Thorben Thursday. Um, the <laughs> uh, there was a clue there that pointed towards the German flag, and that's because the theme for Series 8 is uh, German automotive excellence. Um, uh, you can see some cars on the screen there. We're not going to go into any further detail there, but they will be included as part of Series 8. Uh, the reason we're kind of revealing them now is because they're actually included in this update. Um, sometimes we just include future content in an update just because it allows us to more efficiently get updates out to you on time. So we'll talk about this more um, in Series 8, in the Series 8 live stream in about four weeks' time, but there is a sneak preview. There's some cars. There's another wagon, Chris. Yeah. Or an estate car, as we would call it. In, uh, or, in your... or an van, as Audi would, uh, as Audi would call it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, I've got all that to look forward so cool. to next month.